Alrighty, so before we get into today's video, if you like free baseball, today on MLB's YouTube channel, the Indians take on the Blue Jays, and you guys can catch the game there for free. Me and a couple other content creators are going to be sitting in chat talking about baseball, talking about the game. It's a really fun way just to kind of hang out, watch some baseball, and chill. So 7 p.m. on MLB's YouTube channel, the Indians take on the Blue Jays. And we're using the Blue Jays, actually, in today's rebuild, the Accept All Trades rebuild so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the settings i'm going to turn the frequency all the way up and we're going to accept every single offer the cpu sends us which sucks because i know we're going to lose vlad jr f's in the chat boys f's in the chat but with that being said if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and then in the comment section let me know future rebuild ideas you guys would like to see and one last thing before we hop into today's video if you guys ever need tickets to any sporting events any baseball games or anything like that Use SeatGeek and at checkout, use the code Ant Ortiz for $20 off your first purchase. That's it, guys. Let's hop into it. Alrighty, so like I said, Toronto Blue Jays. It's time. We're going to tell your GM contracts off. Everything else is left the same. No, no funny business going on. So like I said, we're going to hop into the settings and we're going to turn trade frequency all the way up. Alrighty, so trade frequency is all the way up. You guys can see it there. We're going to apply changes. And uh, let's let's see what happens. Um, I guess we have to save the sliders here. Um, I don't really want to save them, but we'll save them just just for this video. So you guys can see this is the team we're gonna be rocking with the Toronto Blue Jays. I decided to go with them because they have a lot of good young talent, high potential players that I think other teams are gonna be looking to acquire, and it'll make it it'll make it interesting for the rebuild. So you guys can see. Biggio, Lourdes Gurriel, Vlad Jr., Smoke, Tejas, Grichik, Galvis, Teasco Hernandez, and Danny Jansis. Jansen. We also have Sogard, uh, Miley, um, Drury, and McKinney. Obviously, in the farm system, we also do have Bo Bichette, um, Reese McGuire, Anthony Alford, um, and then there's, there's definitely more, especially when you look at the pitching. There are some prospects to look out for as well. You guys can see the current rotation here. Stroman, Sanchez, Baruki. Thornton and Pannon. We got Gaviglio, Tapera, Phelps, Hudson Law, Meza, and Giles. And then obviously we have, you know, like Elvis Luciano, Biagini, Nick Kingham, um, Sean Reed Foley. I know we got more as well. Um, I think we have Kloppenstein, I think his name is, in the farm system. We'll take a look. I think he's a he's a starting pitcher. I think it's Ken. I think it's Adam. Adam Kloppenstein, not Klopp. Kloffenstein. So there's definitely some prospects to look out for. It's it's going to be rough. You know, it's it's going to be difficult to just have to sim and let the CPU take away every single player from a trade. So we we can't make any trades. The CPU makes the trades or offers us the trades, and then we can sign and draft players. So I won't make any trades. Um, but we can. Oh, we we can make trades. Well, we can make trades and. Uh, we can also sign and draft players, but we have to accept every offer that we get. We can't decline any offer. So let me make a couple trades and then we'll get into it. All right, we're going to trade Patrick Murphy. Oh, actually, no. I think we're going to be able to make something else work here. All right, Griffin Conine, uh, Teasco Hernandez, and Clayton Richard for Albert Almora Jr. I wanted a little bit better center fielder. We get a young um, center fielder with some good arbitration coming up. I think that's definitely going to help us. The thing I said, I didn't want to make trades at first, but the more I thought about it, I think trades will make it a little bit more interesting because we could trade for a player, but then we could end up having to trade him away because the CPU wants him. So I think it'll make it even more interesting and kind of bittersweet when I trade for someone. And then in a couple weeks, the CPU comes and takes him away. Alrighty, Devin Travis, Miguel Herald. Geraldo and Randall Grichik for Max Kepler of the Twins. Um, I don't think we've ever traded for Max Kepler. I don't think we've ever had him on the team. So I figured it'd be something to try him out, put him in right field. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave everything like this. Um, I'm going to leave the pitching how it is because the Toronto Blue Jays pitchers are either hit or miss. They're either really good or they're really bad. There's, there's like no in-between for these guys. So I want to see how they do. We'll keep the good ones. We'll trade away the bad ones. And then the lineup, because we got a lot of good young players, I'm going to leave it like this. I kind of want... Um, our young our younger players to develop that's kind of what i'm thinking so we're gonna leave the team like this we did add max kepler almora jr so let's have some fun with it all righty so we got our first trade from the reds let's take a look at it clay buckholz for jose siri it's not a big one 
but we're off the mark there's our first trade all right so season one's draft we have a 66 overall with an 88 potential nick rubio for a space and we got 80 potential for walter matsumoto a right fielder he looks okay nothing too special and then luis rivera 82 potential 63 overall those are kind of the main highlights of the draft second trade we're gonna get daniel robertson from the rays for nick kingham it's all right i guess all righty the red sox have come in with an offer nathan eovaldi for justin smoke justin smoke was actually a player i was interested in trading for nathan eovaldi though i don't want that four-year contract oh man that's bad the rockies have come in with a trade just two days after Josh Fuentes, Arenado's cousin, actually, for David Paulino. Alrighty, the Mariners have come in with an offer. Chris Taylor and Hunter Strickland for Ken Giles. This one hurts a little bit. This one kind of hurts a little bit because we don't need a short stop. And we don't want Hunter Strickland for Ken Giles. Alrighty, we got the Tigers now with a trade. Daniel Norris for Elvis Martinez. This is one of our better shortstop prospects. Uh, he actually has got quite a bit of trade value. And Daniel Norris is just not good. Just not good. So at the deadline, this is our team. Um, we have Daniel Robertson, who's playing first for us, actually. Um, Vlad's still there. Kepler, Guriel, uh, Tellez, or Tellez, Galvis, Biggio, and then Danny Jansen. Chris Taylor's a new trade. Um, we have Josh Fuentes, who was traded, obviously. He's in the minors. Um, I think that might be it for, like, the trades that like I remember being kind of big. When we look at the pitching rotation, um, the starting rotation is the same. Eovaldi is in the bullpen. <sighs> that contract is just bad. 17 million for four years. We have Daniel Norris, and then uh, Hunter Strickland is our new closer. Um, you guys can see what else is going on. They keep trading like for our prospects so we get a lot of players into our like major league squad we've had to remove players from the 40 man we've had to drop some players from the major league squad to the minors as well so we'll leave it like this for the first season see if we get any august or waiver trades because for some reason those are still in the game even though mlb got rid of that in real life but let's see how things turn out Alrighty, literally like the next day after the deadline day we have brandon marsh who okay this one's not a bad trade he actually kind of turns into a low-key beast um, and then we're getting rid of Kevin Smith. Okay. Yeah, all right. You know, somewhat of a prospect. And then Jacob Wagus pack, Wagus pack, Wagus pack. I, I don't know, but we're getting Brandon Marsh. That was, that's, that's not a bad trade. So season one, you guys can see we finished 73 and 89. Not the best. Definitely not the best, but let's see how this goes. Uh, see what we can do with this. We got an award, a gold glove, and then we'll take a look at the team. See how we could tweak it come season two so marcus stroman actually had a, a decent year uh, it wasn't terrible um aaron sanchez again not amazing but you know pretty similar to what stroman had barucky struggled a little bit thornton definitely struggled thomas pinone actually not too bad definitely not too bad um Ivaldi, i i really want to trade him away same with daniel norris i think these were two very bad trades for us tapera did well david phelps not terrible not terrible at all Derek law was solid for us tim miza Meza not amazing but not terrible and then hunter strickland was was okay um i would rather have ken giles obviously but i'm not gonna freak out about that elvis luciano is definitely a player i want to get involved he's a low-key beast he's for some reason just really good in sim style franchise um be a genie he was in the majors i'm pretty sure and we dropped him oh no okay so maybe he's a player we could use next year um sean reed foley is definitely a player i got my eye on to potentially make it to the big league squad and that's that for pitching. Looking at the lineup, Almora hit 319. That's what we want. He's our leadoff hitter. He's doing his job right. Um, Robertson struggled. I really wasn't too happy about this deal. I would have rather kept the bat of Justin Smoke, but it happens. We have Vlad here who hit 22 homers, 300 average. Not terrible at all. Kepler. Okay, those are good numbers. I like to see that. Uh, let's take a look at like the on-base percentage and stuff too. 359. Okay, 815 OPS. Perfect. Lord Guriel solid solid season sluggings up ops pretty good rowdy tellez is going up in rating he was like a 66 at the start of the season he's a 73 now which is good to see 250 average would like to see it a little bit higher but um he should improve freddie galvis is a player we're probably gonna let go or we'll use him as a platoon player we do have chris taylor who we could use as a platoon player as well he's got arbitration so we might keep him instead of freddie galvis kevin biggio okay 
um he'll definitely improve though so that's always a good thing same with danny jansen he's gonna improve we have bo bichette who i think deserves to be starting next season over galvis so that's the move we're probably gonna make we're gonna have bichette up we'll let galvis walk and then we'll have chris taylor be our backup shortstop so looking at the rest of this reese mcguire is really the only player of interest he might be our backup catcher next year instead of luke because luke is not good not good at all so 280 average for chris taylor solid bench bat um so that's really about it you know that's that's about it you know some of our players developed some of them didn't as much as i would have hoped tough first season um but we're definitely going to make some changes come next year so let's get into this off season let's see who wins the world series and whatnot like we usually do um the astros defeat the dodgers big surprise that's usually what happens um, we definitely need new contracts for some some staff we lose edwin jackson the journeyman exclusive negotiations david phelps pitched pretty well i'm gonna give him another one-year deal that's not a that's not a bad one he's probably gonna be one of the better relievers available in free agency anyways and then the rest um it sucks to let the nerd go eric sogard but you know the, the time has come it's time for you to it's time for you to pack your bags go somewhere else um so let's see what we got here 40 man don't really matter um arbitration looking at it not matt shoemaker not luke maley either but everybody else will get it and then contracts wise we'll definitely lock up everybody here Alrighty, so we're in the off season i forgot trades still happen in the off season let's see let's see what happens Nick Gordon for Eric Pardino. I mean, it's not that's not a bad trade. Um, Pardino's a, a really good prospect, but I don't think he's going to feature in this trade or, or in this rebuild. Nick Pardino's a decent little uh, option as a trade piece in the future. I mean, it's not terrible. All right, we're training Jonathan Davis, Nathan Eovaldi, and Chris Taylor for Craig Kimbrell of the Cubs. We need a closer. We don't have one since Ken Giles left, got traded away. So we're getting Kimbrell, Steve C. Sheck, and then this first base prospect that looks really good hitting wise, Sean Franco. All right, so I'm going to make the rule where I can't trade a player that just got traded to us. So if the CPU trades us like Johnny Cueto, I can't trade away Johnny Cueto the same season. So that's why I waited to trade Chris Taylor, Nathan Eovaldi until this year and not last year. So what we got so far this season this is our lineup after the 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 free agency and stuff not too much with the lineup because we're only getting better and i didn't really want to change anything um i think we're, we're looking good you know i think nick gordon's not a terrible little pickup that the cpu did um i'm actually not too upset with the trades they've done um most of the players haven't been terrible you guys can see what we're rocking with in the bullpen as well we got um oh we're steve c check we'll, we'll have him be our setup guy nope not to para we, i want c shack to be a setup guy with Meza. i like that that's not too too bad um i definitely think we're gonna have some issues in the bullpen a little bit and then i'm not sold on these two um we did add madison bumgarner that's a big addition that was really the only splash i made in free agency um there really wasn't too much to change um i do really want to get elvis luciano in the mix i just don't know where just yet so he might be a season three addition which sucks because i know he's going to start to decrease because of morale and stuff so I'll, I might just bring him up and then try to trade away another bullpen arm really quick. All right, Daniel Robertson, Brandon Drury, and Hunter Strickland are making way for Ryan Healy. Decent little bench bat for us. Um, that's what I was looking for. Just a little bit of a higher potential bench bat for us. I haven't even gotten through one day of the season yet. The Orioles have offered us a trade. Kurt Suzuki for Patrick Murphy. Huh? I, we don't really need another catcher, but I guess... We have to, right? Alrighty, the Braves have offered us a trade. Let's take a look. Sean Reed Foley for... Ooh, this is actually a good trade. As much as I like Sean Reed Foley, his per nines are usually a little bit too low for my liking. And this center field prospect, Christian Pache, Patch, Pache, looks really good. He's always really good. He's always a player I look to pick up if I'm looking for a center field prospect. So to be honest, this is a pretty fair trade. Alrighty, the Twins want some they want to get in on the action and they're going to take our first base prospect from season one's draft i was actually kind of excited to see this guy but we're going to get luis arias um of the twins in real life he's actually having a pretty decent season from last i heard 
um, could be a decent little pickup for them. So prospects for prospect. Our CPUs like really trying to make some uh, prospect moves for us, I guess. All right, another trade this time with the Brewers for oh man, we just got Sean Franco for Orlando Arcia. We don't even need a shortstop. What is the CPU doing? This one, this one doesn't make too much sense for me. I need the Brewers want more. Can I get through like a week without having a trade? Um, this one is another one of our draft picks for another shortstop. We don't need any more shortstops. Can we stop with the shortstops? All right, we're going to trade for Jacob Barnes. Now of the Orioles, he's having a good year. Um, David Phelps just is not. Uh, he's got like a, almost a 7 ERA, 6.67. I brought him back thinking he would be very consistent for us. Unfortunately, he's not. He's our new reliever in Jacob Barnes. All right. Can the Brewers stop? This is the third trade in less than a month. Son or Shelby Miller for Ronnie Brito. All right. Even though the Brewers must really like me, they must want to date with me or something because they keep asking for trades. They keep contacting me for trades. Um, and I think they're trying to sabotage our squad, but it doesn't matter. We made the postseason. We actually won the division, which is kind of kind of worrying the yankees the red sox they didn't win the division not even the rays we did 95 and 67 so i think the the high trade frequency is really messing with some squads so let's take a look at how things are going mad bum crazy good stats right i saw that um let's take i just want to kind of see if there's like any interesting like trades like reuse on the twins mancini on the astros um Derek Rodriguez is on the Cardinals, but you guys can see the Yankees were 86 and 76, and we won the division by two games above the Reds. The Orioles were bad. 41 wins. But let's take a look at our lineup. Almora, again, a pretty high average. Probably, I'm assuming, a high on base percentage. Not as good as last year, but still pretty solid. Um, Bo Bichette, first professional season, a 285 average. I mean, I don't understand why his potential went down. That is a good year um vlad is up to a 92 you guys can see he he got better which is good i want to see that max kepler doing i mean doing really good things good rbi numbers good hit numbers doubles home runs ops and everything solid rowdy tellez is going up i think he's going up like six overall a season he's 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 on a tear lourdes guriel looks really good i would make him a second base but since we have biggio in left field it's just as good he's he looks like a really solid pickup um like i was mentioning biggio he's up to a 90 he had a good year as well better average on base percentage and all that billy mckinney has been a solid little dh for us and then we got danny jansen here who who got better from last year you know the average went up hits up doubles everything like that that's good to see nick gordon on the bench not really an amazing hitter so you know it looks like arcia was our biggest bench bat threat looking at our prospects we have Gorshins, who's up to a 68. Um, Brandon Marsh is a 71. Christian's a 73. Araya's 74. Okay, so we got some development there, which is good to see. Let's take a look at our pitching staff. Bumgarner, I like to see that. That is a good pickup so far. He went 16 and 11, so the wins and losses aren't there, but low ERA, great whip, just really good stats. Marcus Stroman, all right, brought the ERA down from last year, so that's good. Sanchez was a player I was a little worried about. So it's definitely someone I need to, you know, maybe maybe look to trade next year. Maybe get a little bit better there. Otherwise, looking at the bullpen, really, okay, Tapera struggled a little bit. But outside of that, everybody was very, very good. And I'm look, I'm kind of excited to see how things go. Um, some developments in the bullpen as well. And then down here, you guys can see we definitely have some decent pitching. Um, Shelby Miller, Daniel Norris are two players I'd probably trade. They have decent trade value and we probably could get something in return. So... We are taking on the Indians. Let's see how this goes. Facing elimination, not the best scenario. Um, they were 162. We are home at the Rogers Center. Um, we gotta let Bumgarner take the mound against Mike Clevenger. We need a good outing. So they have Lorenzo Kane. They have Joey Gallo. Ooh, okay. Aled Miss Diaz. And Baumgartner gets out of that tough situation, which is good to see. Couldn't couldn't take advantage of our leadoff base runner. Just okay, so we we have two hits, which is you know a start. Our first inning. Ooh, this is not good. A double play. That's a good. That that's good. That's huge. We needed that. 
Um, a little bit of a pitching duel going on right now. We can, we are struggling with the bats. Baumgartner getting us out of these jams. I like it. First and second, Vlad flies out. Really. All right, that might have been Baumgartner's last last inning. Yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna take our we're gonna take him out. We're gonna go to Meza. Meza. Meza gets a double play. Just what we needed. Um, ooh, a double. Runners in scoring position. Can we get the sack fly? He can't. But Vlad brings in two. Gives us the two-run lead. We're going to go to our closer, Kimbrel. <sighs> Runner was thrown out. Whew. And Kimbrel shuts the door. Whew. Whew -whew. Little, little close. Little close there. Little worrisome. Kind of like Kimbrel lately with the Cubs in real life. You don't know what you're going to get. He may, he may close the door very nicely, or he, he may mess it up. We're going to go with Stroman here against Shane Bieber. And a double play, walk, pop-up. Man, that's not a good start, though. That's a lot of base runners. The hits, the walks. He does get out of it again, though. So, so far, so good. Danny Jansen goes deep. So, we have a one-run lead. Vlad gets on. Okay. All righty. Let's see if Strowman can kind of start to find his groove, limit the base runners. Almora attacks on another run, and so far, so good. Can we kind of extend this lead? That'd be nice. I mean, six for Strowman. Bieber's out of the game. I'm, I'm going to try for one more. There we go. That was that was the cutoff for Strowman. Um, eighth inning, where we are going to go to Ciszek. And then we're going to go to the lefty here. Perfect. Just what we needed. A nice little 1-2-3 inning. At, well, I guess not because they got the double, right? Another run. Lourdes Guriel tacks, tacks on another. Makes it a three-run game. We're going to go to Kimbrel once again. And he should shut the door. We move on to take on the Red Sox. Divisional opponent. So that's that's good. That's what we want to see. Bumgarner should be good to pitch. Um, well... He should be. I'll take a quick little peek just to make sure. See if, you know, he is a little bit tired. We won't start him. He is a little tired. Uh, he'll be good for game two, though. So, we'll do we'll do this. That should be good. That should be good. So, unfortunately, Trent Thornton has to go against Chris Sale. And we lost 8-1. to one. We did get the second win. We lose the third. We lose the fourth. And we face elimination again. So, quick manage. Let's hop into it. Let's have... We're at Fenway. We gotta, we gotta get a little, a little victory here. Thornton struggled. We're gonna go to Aaron Sanchez against Chris Sale. Bo Bichette goes deep. That's what I want to see. Then Guriel goes deep. That's a good start. Chris Sale struggling in the first inning. I like that. Sanchez pretty solid through two. Vlad gets on. Then Kepler fielder's choice. Another fielder's choice. One run does score. That's okay. I haven't even looked at their lineup. We gotta take a look at their lineup next time they come up. Um, first and second, Bo Bichette, nothing. So they got Trey Turner, Ender Inciarte's new, Justin Smoke, Jorge Alfaro, Yolmer Sanchez. Definitely have made some moves. Um, come on. Sanchez, so far so good. Allowing a lot of doubles. A lot of leadoff doubles, though. No run there. Can we get at least six out of them? Come on. Tie ball game. We do get six, but it is a tie game now. He is done. We are going to go to... Barnes here, a triple. Ooh, let's go. Miza, two run bomb. Ugh, that one hurts. A double to lead it off though. Come on, we gotta get that run in. Come on, and a Mookie Betts goes deep, and that uh, I think that's the, the the nail in the coffin right there for our season. But that that was a good a good little comeback against the indians we came back won that and unfortunately we get knocked out against the red sox they're gonna be taking on the dodgers or the reds in the postseason or the world series i should say and the reds defeat the red sox but the second second season was a lot better we made it to the you know the alds and i think i think we're just this close for making it to that world series in season two so let's take a look at the negotiations i think stroman does need to be brought in Sanchez no, Kurt Suzuki no. Um, we're gonna try to find a better a better starter than Sanchez, even though he did have a pretty good outing. I thought that said the Brewers again. Um, Craig Stammen 
for Biagini and Romano. We aren't using Biagini. I was actually thinking about using him this year, though. Um, he looks kind of decent. He looks like he'd actually be kind of good. Um, and then a very aging Craig Stammen. And like I said, we can't trade him the season that we get him. So we're going to have a very old <laughs> Craig Stammen in the books. Um, let's take a look at our arbitration. Let's see. Tapera, how'd he do? Not good. I'm going to let Tapera go. Um, Daniel Norris, I'm going to look to trade. He should have some good value. And then we'll keep the rest of the guys. Contracts wise, we're going to sign everybody back. So let's see what we can do in season three. Alrighty, another deal with the twins. Let's see what they'd want. Fernando Romero and Jake K for Rowdy Tellez. That's our starting first baseman. So now we need a new first baseman. Alrighty, now we got to deal with the Pirates. Let's see what we got. Chad Cool for Jake Cave and Sam Gaviglio. I, I guess. <laughs> now the Rays. Can I just get to season three? I feel like they're every new, trades are everywhere. Nick Kingham for Alan Hansen. We weren't using him anyways. I think Nick Kingham has a potential. So that's kind of a good trade for us. All right, we're going to start season three trading for Jordan Yamamoto. I don't think I've ever traded for him in previous rebuilds, especially since up until recently, he hasn't had a good potential or even a good overall. So I think this is a good reason, like a good way to try him out. He's 87 overall. We're trading Daniel Norris. Nate Pearson and Shelby Miller. Nate Pearson's the big one in this in this uh, in this trade, but so far I kind of like it. Alrighty, next trade we're gonna get another starting pitcher and Joey Lucchese for Trent Thornton, Caden Lemons, and Justin Dean. Alrighty, after those moves, I feel like we're going for broke at this point. So let's take a look at the squad. I think it's good. Um, I actually think it's really strong. Almora, Bichette, Guerrero Jr. We brought in Jock Peterson, so you guys can see Vlad's at first. Lourdes Gurriel is at third. We got Biggio, McKinney, and Danny Jansen. We could also put Gurriel at first, move Vlad back to third, but it, I think I, I, it's fine how it is. We still got Gordon, Healy, Arcia, and McGuire all there. I mean, the team is actually pretty solid. Um, we probably need another another player in the minors, but we'll, we'll get that off camera. You guys can see Bumgarner, Stroman, Baraki, Lucchese, Yamamoto. We got Pannone, Ciszek. This one's going to hurt us is Craig Stammen, Jacob Barnes, Tim Meza, Law, and Kimrel. I like it. Um, I would rather have like Kingham, you know, Fernando Romero instead of uh, instead of Stammen. But we'll see how it goes. If he starts to decrease rapidly, then we'll bring up somebody else instead of him. But for right now, that's the way we're going to rock. Let's hop into season three. Alrighty, the Nationals want to do some business. Let's take a look. Basabe for yet, uh, I mean, what? Uh, that's that's not interesting. Alrighty, I think this is our first deal with the Phillies. Dylan Cousins for Luis Arias. We we haven't really used Luis, and I think Dylan Cousins is about. Actually, I think this might be a bad trade for us. Uh, I mean, it's about this. Cousins is older. That's why I kind of don't like that trade. All right, the Giants. Duggar for Bob Van. See, part of the Major League squad. We don't need any more Major Leaguers unless they're going to make a difference. All right, the Indians, what do we got? Bradley Zimmer for Baraki, Groshans, and Derek Law. The Athletics are now making a deal. Corey Kluber, Wei Chang, Wei Chung Wang for Bunk. <sighs> no! We're having a good year too. That that one is a dagger. All right, the Brewers, they got to stop. Corbin Burns and Zach Collins for Joey Lucchese. I mean, it's not terrible, but stop. The, uh, the teams are now out to really tear us down. All righty, the Mariners have come in for a trade. Domingo Santana, Mike Leake for Ke Craig Kimbrell. <sighs> Man, this is getting bad. Now the Pirates want to make a trade. Michael Feliz for Joshua Palacios. I don't, that doesn't really affect me that much. Keep moving forward. The Diamondbacks are making a trade. Luke Weaver for Nick Gordon, Brandon Marsh, and TJ Zook. All right, at least we get a, a decent little starter back. Alrighty, so after all those trades, this is what our squad's looking like. We have some players in the, the, the minors that I wish we didn't. Um, you know, like, I think Healy was having a, no, Healy was not having a good year. But like, we just, the trades we're making are just not making a lot of sense. Um, so they're actually, I think, hurting us. Overall, the team's doing pretty solid. I mean, look at that lineup. The lineup looks nutty. Pitching rotation is doing okay. 
um you guys can see what we're working with here it seems like everybody has changed at this point um we do have a couple players down here like he doesn't look like he would be bad to call up uh luciano i really wanted to get involved but i don't think it's gonna happen you guys just see just crazy crazy amount of trades uh mike leak not really a player i wanted in the lineup so that's why he's not there um it's just the trades are getting out of hand they're just happening like crazy okay so even though trades were happening like crazy here there everywhere we created a super team i mean whoo 110 wins 52 losses we're taking on the wild card winner so we're gonna lose but let's take a look league leaders max kepler vlad jock max kepler again i'm liking that max kepler pickup i think that was a really good one he got the hank aaron and kevin biggio and bo bichette our middle infielders got a gold glove each so let's take a look at the pitching rotation Corey kluber i mean it's not bad i kind of want to see how mad bum finished the year though just because he was our ace and he was doing pretty solid well there's joey lucchese um he had a really good year so that sucks that we lost him where's mad bum wow he was like the complete opposite way did we pass mad bum and i'm just blind oh there he is uh let's see how he finished the year i mean not terrible pretty compar comparable to what Corey kluber finished with so i mean i guess it wasn't a terrible trade jordan yamamoto i think is a fantastic pickup for us really solid corbin burns I guess was really good for us. Uh, that's a, a good trade. Um, Marcus Stroman was Marcus Stroman like around a four ERA, and then Luke Weaver was solid. So I mean, overall, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna freak out. Uh, a little little wary about what they did with our our bullpen. What was Mike? What was Wang doing? Wang wasn't doing too bad. So why did they bring in Chad Cool? I don't know. Let's take a look at our bench and stuff. Bradley Zimmer, he he's he just can't he's not he's he's just no where is he 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 can't he can't be put on the the major league squad he we're, we're gonna need that extra arm let's bring up wang you know he was he was very solid it looked like from what he did bradley zimmer just oof not good so let's take a look at the rest of the lineup see how things went domingo santana was okay reese mcguire was okay arcia again very solid bench bat for us so almora again close to a 300 average 23 homers most in his career a good ops nice to see bo bichette i mean really good power numbers for him doubled his home runs rbis are about the same ops and stuff were about the same vlad's a 97 almost 40 homers 106 rbis 300 average actually over 300 ops was nearing a thousand whoo Jack Peterson was a great pickup for us. Good power numbers, good walks, RBIs, averages up there, slugging, OPS, all that. And then Max Kepler's a 92. Look at those stats, those walks, RBIs, 33 doubles. Who OPS of 1,001. Oof. Lourdes Gurriel's looking solid for us at third base as well. 120 RBIs. We had multiple players with 100 RBI seasons. Kevin Biggio down a little bit, which is disappointing to see. Billy McKinney was solid you know potentials going up overalls going up danny jansen still developing as a catcher his power numbers are going up i like to see that so very solid team very solid indeed i like that a lot so postseason time taking on the yankees and we are gonna lose <laughs> look at how that happened so we're at yankee stadium we are gonna let we're going to let Marcus Stroman take the mound. What the heck? We're going against Sevy. So not the person I want to see. Um, we'll take a look at the Yankees lineup next time. Brian Goodwin's new. Will Myers is new. Mitch Garver's new. Is that Mitch Garver? We'll take a look when that... Oh, Gary Sanchez. And then Will Myers back to back. Oh, boy. Is this, is this where it gets a little hectic? Oh baby, that is uh that's the ball game. That's the that's the rebuild right there. We got one run back, but Marcus Stroman's just hand, handing it over to the Yankees at this point. Seven to one. Whew, he's done. Chad Cool probably shouldn't have come in. He was very tired, so that's only one inning from him. We're gonna go to Romero. The Yankees, I, I think we're just tossing them BP at this point. What is going on? 
that's 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 the season boys amazing amazing regular season right postseason though would we score a combined three runs so what one three seven ten runs Pfft. they scored 10 almost in this game right alone they scored 10 right there oh man well there we go that is our season i mean for except all trades though our team is stacked holy cow I, i'm i'm surprised it turned out this way i know we made a couple trades here and there but overall whoo pretty crazy so i hope you guys enjoyed today's accept all trades rebuild if you did hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoyed the content remember as this video goes live the mlb game of the week is live on the mlb's youtube channel it's the indians versus toronto blue jays and if you guys ever need any tickets to any sporting events go to SeatGeek, geek use the code ant ortiz for twenty dollars off your first purchase that's it guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's rebuild and i'll catch you on the next one peace